afternoon, everybody. I want to thank you for taking time to join me today. This is the Tech Desk, and this is Jamal Purvis. I am your host, and I hope that I find you in good spirits and doing well today. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into my very first segment, which is going to be a new series on security cameras. So, Panasonic, that's right, Panasonic does make security cameras, has sent me a very nice unit. And this is the WV-U2132L. A little bit of a mouthful, but a very good camera at a very good bargain. Before we get into the camera, this is gonna be my very first unboxing video. Uh, you can see all over the box, it does say sample. This is a sample that was sent to me from Panasonic to do a quick review and unboxing. Uh, I did wanna mention that the box does have something very unique on it. On the back here, they actually have introduced a new process, which is called their, their kitting box. And this allows you to get easy access to the camera. And it's pretty easy to do. You just kind of pop this panel, just like that. And then when you open this little slot, there's the back of the camera right here. Depending on which camera that you have, it could either be an analog camera coming out with the actual analog connections, or because this is a power ethernet and ethernet driven camera, it's just one ethernet cable, that's all you just plug in. It will then power up the camera and allow you to make configurations, very easy to do. ScanSource does a very good job with this at our custom configuration center, which will allow them to do hundreds of these cameras at one time. And this is the nice thing about this, whether you're doing a large job or a small job, you just pop this panel open and you have free access to the camera information inside. Now, as we jump into the box, we're gonna slide this over to the side. Very first thing, and I 100% stress this to anybody, if this is your first time setting up any kind of camera, look at your warranty information, look at your actual product guides in there. Sometimes they give you a quick start guide. This is Panasonic's warranty card and also a quick information guide in there. Also has your serial numbers on here, but this primarily is your five year warranty for the camera. So because that serial number is tied to this, you just basically put these up and, and file them into your filing cabinet. On the back back here, you actually have, Panasonic has a, a dome ring, which is there as a additional ring should you have to take the housing off and put a new dome on it or clean it. You actually have this extra ring here to kind of keep, keep it sealed out of the way. This guy is your camera template. This is your mounting plate template. So whenever you go to just go randomly mount this camera, whether it be on a wall or ceiling, you wanna use this guy because it does give you, you know, preset template holes and some markings where it tells you the best place to kind of just screw it in. And then where you actually drill your hole through your, you know, drywall or your ceiling to actually run your cable through is all right there. Very good tool, don't throw it away. So now, that's out of the way, let's look at the camera. Nothing else in the box. This is gonna be pretty easy. I've done, seen a lot of these before. This is very well padded. I mean, you can't get any better than this. The possibility of your camera getting damaged physically in shipping, very slim because of that. All right bag there. They even wrapped the actual dome, keep it getting scratched up, should the bag even get messed up. Here go. And here you go. This is the WV-U2132L. And the L stands for LED because that's one of the first things that you would notice here. If you've got two LED sensors right here on that camera, let the camera pick it up here. And those are gonna allow you to see in low light but it also has a brilliant color night mode that they've actually introduced into the series. And this camera is a part of a lineup that actually has dome cameras and bullet cameras. They have indoor models like this guy, and they have outdoor models, which will allow you to be more weather resistant. So as we dive deeper into this guy, we know that this one does have a two megapixel sensor. They also offer a four megapixel sensor. This has a 2.7 times optical zoom range. So it gives you a very good varifocal lens and it's motorized. So you can control that lens, whether it be in the software 
or physically in the back of the camera there's two buttons that you can utilize to actually uh, go in and manually zoom in and zoom out focus and focus in and out right on the camera without having to touch anything else so on the fly very quick jobs that you have to do you have the ability to do those remotely or right on location this camera is very unique because it's a very low cost camera it's giving you great features that a lot of manufacturers don't give you in that same space so this is actually very good and one of the nice features about this camera that I like even more is the fact that it gives you an intelligent auto feature and what that is is a very quick way for you to actually set up the camera and get the camera to give you the best possible video possible um, in a very quick way so you don't have to worry about trying to fumble around what looks better for exposure what looks better for color best focus range if you click that i auto it automatically adjusts based on the scene that it's in so it's a very smart unit to know that okay if you've got it set in corridor mode which this does support corridor mode for hallways or standard wide screen or wide angle excuse me for a medium size to larger size room this camera with i auto will automatically adjust for the scene so if it knows this has a lot of light coming in it will adjust for that they use a super dynamic mode which will allow you to get better dynamic range within the camera and then they also blends that in with that i auto mode to know that if it's a face coming across it uses the iPro system to work with the face detection or face pro so you have those features that are all built into this camera for a very good price and it is a bargain i must say very lightweight so if you had to mount this onto some ceiling tiles or if you had to mount it in a very unique area uh, it's not going to be too heavy that will cause issues to the ceiling itself if you look at the bottom you'll notice that it does have these two mounting holes here and that does allow it to mount to a double gang box so should you need to hook up to a, a double gang box junction box this will work so in the event that you have to create your own mount this will allow you to do that without any problems the camera does support h2.65 codex so it's very good on the recorder itself reduces how much recording time and space is needed based off of the recording based off of the h.265 codec this camera will reduce how much recording storage is needed on your recorder so if you have hundred of these versus a hundred cameras that only do H.264 these will be better on your recorder over the long haul it also is compatible with Milestone, Genetech, um, your major players out there but Panasonic went ahead and did something a little extra for you and giving you a free license to Video Insight so if you already have a Video Insight system set up you've already got an extra license for your camera when you bought it so it makes it very easy for you to integrate it right into your new or existing system and you can keep going at a very fast pace because once you've taken advantage of everything that Panasonic has to offer the kitting box the quick mounting guides five-year warranty and a great camera with a great visual and great image quality this is second to none so I want to take the time and ask is this the camera for you I don't know check with ScanSource and we'll be glad to see what we can do for you because in this business we want to make sure that we give you the best security products for any job and every job I hope that you guys have learned something here and if you have please like and subscribe on the bottom if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the Panasonic kitting box I'm gonna post a video up right here right here <laughs> I will post it up right here and it's going to give you a quick insight of how that works. And this will tailor back into some ways that the Custom Configuration Center will work for you at its best. So thank you again for joining me. I hope I didn't spend too much of your time going over a lot of great information. But if you found this enjoyable, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next video. Stay safe. Stay secure. Stay happy.